Hi everyone, I am back with a Q&A video on this hair. I have had a lot of questions on, you know, my hair routine, wait, what? My nighttime routine, what I do when I'm about to take a shower and just, just general care instructions. So I decided to ask you guys on Instagram and on Snapchat to send me questions that you may have. And I also looked on my comments section in my previous video and just compiled a list of questions that I thought would help you guys if you were thinking of doing this hairstyle. And if any of you are wondering, I do have a tutorial on how I did this hair and I will link that down below so you guys can check it out. I list all the installation instructions, like what kind of hair it is, where I got it from. So if you guys have any other questions that I don't answer in this video, definitely put it down below and I am going to get right into the questions. How long does this hair last? It has lasted a month for me. I could keep this for a month and a half to two months. It's a bit frizzy, but overall it still looks good. I still get a lot of compliments on it whenever I go around. It all depends on how well you take care of it. I've been slacking over the past week. I haven't really been sleeping with the scarf and all that. But if you're really diligent and you take care of it, it can last you just as long as regular twists. I like the way it came pre-twisted because there's no unraveling. It's, I mean, it pretty much all has stayed intact. Is it heavy? No. It is not heavy at all. Like, it feels really lightweight. And I said that in the previous video as well. If it's about it being heavy on your head, I definitely say go for it because it's not. <laughs> a lot of people ask, how do I sleep with the hair? What is my nighttime routine? So I'm just gonna tell you what I do. So I ran out of my Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioner, which is my Holy Grail Leave-In Conditioner. I have the Grow Strong Strengthening Treatment. So I just started using that instead and just was gonna wait until this finished before I got the leave-in conditioner again. But I just kind of use this to moisturize my hair. So I go through all the corn rolls and I just put this and then I put coconut oil and tea tree oil because those are the only oils I could find in my house and I just kind of put them in this spout what do they call this anyway this bottle to seal in the moisture so I try to do that every day I kind of miss some days but overall as long as I'm keeping the hair moisturized it does really feel and look really good. Basically some sort of leave-in conditioner and some sort of oil. And then I use my scarf. I kind of just wrap it, put my hair to the back and just, you know, sleep. So as long as I have it packed back and just put in a bun like this and just wrapped around, it stays put at night. And that's what I do. This is what I did from the beginning. And whenever I remember, I make sure I do it. So can you wash this hair? Yes, you can. Uh, I When I washed it, I washed it about two weeks in, made sure I just focused on my scalp because I didn't want the hair to get too frizzy. So if you just kind of just focus on your scalp, uh, your hair will, it will frizz up no matter what. But you can minimize it by just making sure you just do a little bit of manipulation and then you rinse it off with warm, I used warm water. So yeah, I just use any shampoo and then I conditioned it and then rinsed that off as well. So I just wanted to keep my hair clean while I was wearing it. And uh, yeah, if you do this every two weeks, two and a half weeks, it should keep the hair lasting long and smelling good because it's hot. I know it gets, you know, really sweaty inside this hair. So you just need to make sure you're washing it and conditioning it because then, you know, you wash up all the dirt and it smells like whatever your conditioner smells like. Mine smells like ocean breeze. So <laughs> my hair smells like ocean breeze. So yeah, I would definitely recommend washing it. What do I do when I want to take a shower? I use a really big scarf and then I just put it all to the front and then use this scarf and just basically tie, tie the hair and just anything you can use. I use, this scarf is really, really big so it takes all the hair and just puts it up in this little high bun. The goal is to get the hair up for the shower and it's just out of the way. So that's what I do for when I am about to take a shower. People ask, is it obvious that it's crochet? Lots of people don't know this crochet. Personally, as long as you keep the cornrows close and you fill in the hair, it looks good. And mine has withstood uh, a month of wearing it. All the hair is uniform, and so every single hair strand pretty much looks the exact same. So it looks very, very professional. And I've done it for a couple of my friends, and it just looks great on any kind of hair type, to be honest. A big question is where can I get the hair and I put a link to wigtypes.com and it just seems like they've been sold out for the longest time. I'll link every hair store down below that I find online and then I also if you live in Atlanta I'll put in a couple hair stores that I found that still stock it. Can you put this hair up in a bun? 
Yes, you can. I did see this girl on YouTube. Her name is Lisa Officially Live. I'll link her channel down below. She did a great video. It's called 11 Ways to Style Crochet Havana Toy. She did all these styles and at the end she did this amazing bun and she used more hair than I did. So yes, this hair can be put up in a bun. It looks great. Honestly, any hairstyle you can think of to do with regular twists, you can do with this hair. Do they have this in a smaller size? I have seen way smaller sizes. So like they look like Senegal these twists so I can leave a link down to that as well you guys can check that out but they do have the smaller version of this hair I realized I didn't put how long it took for me to do this hair in my previous video it took me about two and a half hours to do the hair I was able to get the cornrows in and also put the twist in in that time um, other than that some other questions that I think will be useful for you guys to know uh, it comes in a lot of different colors I seen blue, purple, burgundy, gold, gray. So any color you may think of, they probably have it. So just check it out. It's very with the color. That's it guys. I've answered all the questions that I saw. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, my username is Katana and I'll leave all my every little social media platform that I have. I'll leave all that down below so you guys can check me out. And I'm going to be posting a lot more videos so please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate all the love from my previous video. And yeah, comment down below anything you guys want to see from me and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.